In today's video, I'm going to be answering the question, will solar panels work during a power outage? Hi, I'm Jamie Green, the Solar Queen, and for the last four and a half years, I've helped hundreds of homeowners achieve energy independence with solar power. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. And this is a place where we answer your questions about solar panels and batteries and how they can work for your home. In today's video, I'm going to be answering the question, will solar panels work during a power outage? It's a question that comes up frequently and it's something that homeowners assume that, well, I have solar panels, they'll work during a power outage. Until that first power outage happens and their solar system doesn't produce power for them. In other words, the lights go out, the power is out, and they're just like all the other homeowners that are, don't have solar power yet. The reason for this is a couple of reasons. Firstly, they may have gotten a solar system that is not inclusive with batteries. When you get solar with a battery, the battery will act as your backup power during a power outage. And I'll go into that more in detail in just a few minutes. But solar panels that are installed on your rooftop alone will not provide power for you in a power outage. You will only notice if you have a power outage during the daytime when the sun's out and solar panels are producing energy and there's a power outage. You'd be like, wait, it's sunny and the power is gone off and I have solar panels. Why are my solar panels not working? Well, there's a piece of equipment that is very important for converting energy into AC power that flows through our houses, our plugins, our plugs, everything in our house is AC power. Solar actually is produced in DC and has to be converted into AC. DC means direct current and it only moves in one direction. AC means alternating current and that can go in multiple directions and we need that for our house because our houses are, you know, have all these rooms and all these outlets and all these um, lights and fans and everything, it needs to be bi-directional. And so the power that's generated on our rooftops through solar panels, their direct current needs to be converted into AC or alternating current. And that one piece of equipment that is responsible for that is the inverter. The inverter has a safety mechanism inside it, which is a rapid shutoff in the event that the grid goes down. Now, if you are if you have solar panels on your rooftop and it's generating power during a sunny day and somebody runs into a power line down the road and there's a down power line causing a shut off of power because our solar systems are grid tied. That means our, our, our energy, excess energy is flowing to the grid when we're not using it. And hopefully you live in a state with net metering so that you can bank it or receive a kilowatt hour credit for um, the excess energy that you can use at nighttime, uh, that power from your solar system flows to the grid or the utility will take it, sell it to their neighbors, to your neighbors, uh, not your, not their neighbors, but your neighbors, uh, neighboring businesses, sell it for a profit and give you a net metering credit to use at nighttime or later on in the year. Because this is how solar works or interconnection with the utility company, if there's a down power line or the power goes out, the system, the inverter knows to shut off the solar production in the event of a power outage. The reason for this is if there's a down power line down the street and a, a utility lineman comes to work on restoring that down power line, if there's energy flowing through the grid because of your solar system, it can really harm that lineman. It can really uh, injure them or possibly kill them if there's power flowing freely. So the purpose for the inverter rapidly shutting down in the event of a power outage is for protection of the grid and of people working on the grid. We don't want that to happen. You don't want that liability and neither do the solar companies or the inverter manufacturers. So there is a safety mechanism in that and it will shut down. And as soon as the inverter senses a solid um, flow of power coming from the grid, it will come back up onto service. Like it'll come back on, it's like it wakes up or something. Uh, I remember the first time we had a power outage and our solar system shut off too. I remember once, um, 
I called on my cell phone. I called the, the installer. I was like, hey, we had a power outage. Um, do I need to do anything to my inverter to turn it back on? And she said, nope, it comes back on all by itself. And so this, the, power, the solar system will know when the power is restored and it can safely then come back online and start generating power for you again. So that is really um, an important thing to understand about your solar system if you only have solar panels installed on the side of your house. Now, if you have solar and a battery and that battery has backup uh, capacities or it has the ability to back up um, to provide backup power in a power outage well you're in luck because what's going to happen in that situation is um, you might this the power the power goes down and the inverter knows to shut off the power flowing to the to um, to the grid and and it shuts off and it starts pulling energy from the battery so the battery then comes in and provides you the backup power during a power outage. Batteries have different capacity of stored energy. So depending on how much energy you use on a, a daily basis, or even during like say peak hours during the day, one battery may be enough. You might need two batteries if you want to back up more loads that are greater than say 30 amp breakers in your sub panel. That is a battery conversation that I'm not going to answer in this video, but I'm going to just go over the broad overview of how solar and a battery works. So the power goes down. The inverter senses that. It switches over and goes to backup mode from the battery. The battery, if it's during a sunny day, the solar system is going to generate power for the home in that's like needed right now. So it's sunny. If my power goes out, my lights will not go out. Then you may notice a slight little flicker or a, just a switch over from grid or from solar and grid to solar and battery. And if that's the case, you'll know because go to your oven light. If you only have one battery, go to your oven light and you'll see it blinking. If that is blinking, it means you've had a power outage and the battery is kicking in hopefully. So the battery kicks in. If it's not charged up all the way, the first thing that the solar system and the inverter and the battery gateway are gonna do is gonna say, oh my gosh, we're in a power outage. We need to um, power the house to the essential loads and then also fill up the battery because the equipment doesn't know how long is that power gonna be out. So it needs to recharge the battery, and then when the sun goes down and the solar system is shutting down its production for the day, the battery is going to kick in and provide power only to the essential loads. Essential loads will be your refrigerator, lights, uh, maybe the modem to your, t uh, your computer, your Wi-Fi so everybody can continue to be online if they need to be. But the things that for one battery, you might not be ba backing up would be your air conditioning, your dryer, your oven, perhaps your microwave. The battery has a storage capacity. Most are 10 kilowatt hours. Some go up to, you know, 13 kilowatt hours and some can go up to 20 based on how they stack them. But there is something called a power output. Um, and those are, that is responsible for turning the equipment on or turning the, uh, firing up the um, microwave or the dishwasher. You wouldn't likely run these appliances during a power outage but to turn on a light takes a surge of power and most of these batteries have a five to seven and a half kilowatt of power output in the battery to start up a light lights or a tv or whatnot so the batteries have the power output along with the kilowatt hour capacity of stored energy most people think about that and not the power output. And for most homeowners, one battery is gonna be sufficient. For others, they might need two or three batteries and that's perfectly okay. It is all dependent upon your house. The only way that you're gonna have power during a power outage if you have solar panels is if you have a battery. There are some batteries on the market that are self-consumption mode only and these batteries will not provide power during a power outage. They are only there to provide you the power to use or the energy to use during peak hours. Their LG has a self-consumption only battery and so those batteries will not provide backup power during a power outage. So it's good to know what kind of batteries you're getting. All the other batteries typically are 
full service batteries, meaning they're gonna provide uh, self-consumption mode abilities as well as backup power. Now there are only a few other options out there for backup power during a power outage when you have solar panels. The first is the in-phase sunlight system. This is basically their IQ8 microinverters with some other equipment that forms a microgrid on your rooftop and only provides backup power to your essential loads in your home when the sun is shining. So this isn't to provide full home backup power during a power outage, it's only for the essential loads. It's much more economical than a full on backup battery. So this might be something you'd wanna consider if you don't wanna get the full battery, but you want backup power in the event that there's a power outage during the sunlight time of the day and your solar system can continue to work for you and your home in the event of a power outage. The last thing that will provide power for you in the event of a power outage when you have solar panels is a generator. Now, if you have a generator and you have solar panels, you cannot use both of them at the same time. You must have a manual transfer switch or an automatic transfer switch installed on your main service panel to shut off the solar system from the generator so that the generator can come and, and kick on and power your house if you have say a whole home backup generator. This is important so that the power from the generator doesn't fry all the electrical components of your solar system. This is a big no-no, you don't wanna do that. If you have a generator or you plan to get solar and a generator, make sure that you get the transfer switch installed on your electrical panel because you don't wanna void out any warranties on your solar panels or your inverter or battery for that matter uh, when you use a generator. To recap, will solar panels power a home during a power outage? The answer is not without a battery or the in-phase sunlight system or a generator. If you experience a lot of power outages and you are interested in getting solar, you want to make sure you pair it with a battery. And you're going to want to sit down and look at your consumption, what your daily habits look like what you want to back up in a power outage to determine what battery is right for your home and how many. If you're interested in discussing solar and a backup battery solution for your home and you'd like to, to talk with me about this, please call me or text me at the number that you see on the screen and I'd be happy to have a consultation with you and see what we can do about powering your home with solar panels and a battery and gaining energy independence. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one.